reproduction. Okay, so when you were in elementary, I'm sure you have learned about reproduction, that it is a means of um, continuing the generation. From parents, they will have their offspring or their babies, and then the generation will continue. But now in grade 7, we are going to learn that there are actually different ways for organisms to reproduce. And um, specifically, we have two types of reproduction. We have the asexual reproduction and we have the sexual reproduction. So today, what we're going to learn is all about what is asexual and what is sexual reproduction, what are the types of asexual reproduction, what are the different types of sexual reproduction, and of course, what are the advantages and disadvantages of these kinds of reproduction. So at the end of our lesson, this is our essential question that we must be able to answer. So number one, in what way is sexual reproduction similar to asexual reproduction? So although they are different, of course, they have something in common or they have some similarities between them. And then, of course, in what way is sexual reproduction different from asexual reproduction? So again, at the end of our class, this is the questions that we must be able to answer. Okay, so are we ready to start our lesson? Can I get a thumbs up sign from everyone? If we are ready. Okay, thank you, Kuya Jared. Thank you, Reina, Gian, Kadesh. And for the rest of the students. Kuya Yuri, you also turned off your camera. The same with Leonard. I don't know why. Please do not turn it off. The same with Leonard. Do not turn it off. Thank you. Okay. So first, we are going to start with a sexual reproduction. Okay. So by definition, it says here that a sexual reproduction is a kind or a type of reproduction in which a new organism is produced from one parent and the offspring is identical to the parent. Okay. So, a sexual reproduction is different from how humans reproduce. Because if you will notice, when humans reproduce, you have your mother and you have your father. And your parents produce you. You are the offspring. But in a sexual reproduction, it says there that the organism is produced by only one. It says here, only one parent. So there is no mother, there is no father, there's only one parent. And because there is only one parent which produces the offspring or the child, the offspring is identical to the parent. So when we say identical, it means that they are 100% the same as their parent. So again, this is different from humans. Because when it comes to humans, you cannot say that you are 100% the same as your mother because you are a combination of your parents. So some of your traits come from your father and some of your traits come from your um, father. But when it comes to a sexual reproduction, because they only have one parent, it means that they are 100% the same to that parent, okay? So some of the common examples of organisms that actually do um, a sexual reproduction are your bacteria, okay? And um, some of your protists, some low invertebrates, and then of course, some plants actually undergo a sexual reproduction. So if you will notice, a sexual reproduction is actually very uh, common when it comes to your um, single organisms or unicellular organisms. Okay, so they are very common when it comes to your um, simple and small um, organisms such as your bacteria. Okay, but when it comes to um, your bigger and more complex organisms such as humans, they actually do what, what we call as your um, sexual reproduction, okay? 
So let's continue to our next slide. Okay na ba tayo when it comes to taking notes? Can I get a thumbs up sign? So the important idea is that a sexual reproduction only has one parent. It involves only one parent. And because it's only one parent, the, uh, the offspring that they produce is 100% identical or the same as the parent. Okay? So this is a simple picture which shows what a sexual reproduction is all about. So we are starting with one parent, for example, itong parang gummy worm on top. And there's only one parent. Like I said, there is no mother, there is no father, there's only one parent. And this parent will undergo um, division. It will reproduce the, the offspring. Okay, and if you can see on the picture here, wow, nakita si Kuya Danstan. Kinaya ng internet mo, Kuya Danstan, baka madisconnect ha. Pero kung okay naman, stable, then that's better that you have your camera open, ha? Okay, so as you can see here, there are two offspring and they are identical to the parent. Parehong pareho yung itsura niya. From the color of the eyes, they both have violet eyes, yung color ng lips, yung color ng body niya, it's a combination of blue. And then there are uh, green stripes. Kung ilang green stripes, they're also the same. So they, they have no differences from each other. It's like a copycat, 100%. It's like a photocopy. The parent was photocopied and then the, the product was there. That is the offspring. So that is what we call as a sexual reproduction. Okay? So um, a specific example or a specific kind of a sexual reproduction is what we call as binary session. Okay? So binary session is actually a kind of a sexual reproduction that is commonly observed in bacteria. So your bacteria, even if they are very small, they are capable of reproducing. Actually, they reproduce really fast. So, for example, today, you caught a bacteria, for example, um, the bacteria that causes you to have a cough. Please. So, after a few hours or after one day, the bacteria already multiplied to thousands inside your body. And if you will not be taking medicine, the bacteria will continue to multiply. They will continue to reproduce and grow in number until um, your sickness or your cough will become um, more difficult or more severe. Okay? So this is what we call as binary session. So in this um, kind of asexual reproduction, what happens is that the parent, if this is your parent's bacteria, the first one here, it will just divide into two. So as you can see here, um, the, the parent bacteria, they just double the DNA inside. So the green one is the DNA inside, and then it just doubled in number. And then after the DNA doubled in number, the actual uh, cell starts to divide. So there is a pinching. It's like you're pinching the middle of the bacteria. There's a pinching process here in the middle until it is successfully divided into two um, organisms. So from one parent, it produced two offspring. That's why it has the name of binary. Okay, so when we say binary, it means you are, uh, you are always producing in, in two. So from one parent, it will become two offspring. From two parents, it will become four. From four, it will become eight. Okay? So in this kind of reproduction, um, each organism contains a copy of the DNA. And because there's only one kind of DNA in here, it means that it will produce two identical organisms. So like I said, when it comes to a sexual reproduction, because there's only one parent, then the offspring is 100% identical to the parent. Wala silang pinagkaiba. Okay? 
So that is binary fission. So for example here, so this is another drawing of binary fission. So what will happen is that the DNA will just replicate, it will just double in number. So from one plasmid or from one circular DNA, there will be two circulars, uh, circular DNAs inside of the bacteria. And if you will notice, the bacteria will also elongate. It will grow in size. It will become a little bit bigger than the parent cell. And then after it becomes bigger and after the DNA doubles, in number, then it will start dividing in the middle until there are two separate cells with a copy of the same DNA. Okay, so each daughter cell, it says here, receives one copy of the DNA. So this is binary fission. So it's actually very simple, right? They just have to double the DNA, they just have to double their size, and then they have to divide. So because it's very simple, that's the reason why your bacteria can multiply really, really fast. Because their um, reproduction process is very simple. Okay, so mabilis silang mag-reproduce. Um, nahawakan mo yung bacteria ngayon after a few hours. If you do not wash your hands, maraming maraming na siya dyan sa kamay mo. So for example, this morning you took a bath. Did you take a bath this morning? Yes, okay. So very proud to Janet, yes. Now, after a few hours, um, especially if you will be very active, like playing um, sports, and you will start sweating, after a few hours, you will, um, you will start to feel that um, you, you have a certain smell, especially in certain areas, such as in the underarm, or in sapaa like that. Um, the reason why is not because your sweat actually smells bad. What smells bad is the bacteria that is multiplying in those certain areas. And bacteria, they love um, areas that have moisture or yung mamasa-masa. And they like um, environments na hindi sobrang lamig, that hindi siya sobrang init, yung uh, parang body temperature like that. So, Gustong-gusto nila yung kahit ganong kinds of environment. So pag may moisture at okay yung temperature, they will multiply really fast. So doon nagkakaroon ng tinatawag nating body odor. The same when it comes to your mouth, you brush your teeth. When you brush your teeth, you are removing some bacteria inside your mouth. Pero kung napapansin niyo when you wake up in the morning, bakit nga ba meron tayong tinatawag na morning breath. Bakit nga ba mabaho siya in the morning? It be, it's because, yes, Kuya Reynal, do you know the answer? Uh, sure, it's because um, uh, because the saliva actually uh, dries off. That's why bacteria okay. multiplies. The saliva dries off, but other than that, there are bacteria inside your mouth. And during the night when you are sleeping, this bacteria reproduces. They multiply inside your mouth. So when they reach a certain number na sobrang dami na sila, then that's the reason why you have your um, morning breath in the morning. Okay, so medyo um, mabaho siya. Or even after a few hours after you brush your teeth. Diba? When in the morning you brush your teeth and then you will be eating something, you will be talking, and then after a few hours mapapansin mo, hindi na siya, yung, kumbaga yung breath mo hindi na kasing fresh when you, after after you brush your teeth. And it's because the, the bacteria is multiplying inside your mouth. Okay? So, wala namang masama doon if the bacteria is multiplying inside your mouth if you are regularly brushing your teeth. Ang masama doon if you don't regularly brush your teeth because you are allowing the bacteria to multiply and to, to in, not, not infest, pero they're allowing it to multiply inside your mouth and hindi na babawasan yung number nila. Okay? So are we okay or is everything clear when it comes to binary session? Can I get a thumbs up sign from everyone? Okay. Kuya Leonard, naka-turn off ulit yung camera mo. Please do not turn it off. Okay. Now, 
ah, uh, okay, so ito naman, same lang din, binary session. But this one is what it looks like under a compound microscope. So, in the middle is where they start dividing until um, it completely separates and forms two daughter cells. Okay? So, another kind of sexual reproduction, this one was already mentioned by Kaddish, and he finds it very interesting, is what we call as budding. So, the word budding actually comes from um, the word bud. So, B-U-D, okay? The reason why is because in this kind of um, asexual reproduction, a parent cell, it forms buds in its body. Okay, so for example, um, in the picture, uh, wait lang, I have a bigger picture. Okay, so for example, this is a hydra. A hydra is an underwater organism. So you cannot see it on land. It lives under the sea. Okay, so if this is your um, parent body, okay, so this is a parent hydra, it will form what we call as bud. So in this part of the picture, you can see that a bud is starting to form. And this bud will uh, continue to grow and develop until it is um, similar to the parent hydra. And when it is developed enough, when it has grown enough um, structures or when it has to reach a certain um, level of development, it will detach from the um, parent's body. So for example, here in picture number three, um, the bud is starting to detach from the parent. And when it has completely detached from the parent of the body, then it becomes another organism. Okay? So, pag nalaglag na siya dyan, saka na siya tutubo sa kung saan siya nalaglag. Okay? So, this is what we call as your budding. And uh, budding is actually very um, similar um, not similar, but it is a common kind of asexual reproduction that is observed also in some plants. Okay? So once it breaks away from the parent's body, it will start living on its own. Okay? So again, asexual reproduction, there's only one parent. So in the case of the hydra, there's only this parent, only one, and the parent will form a bud. The bud will grow and develop. It will detach, and once it has uh, broken away from the parent, then it is another organism that will start living on its own. Okay, so we can observe budding in hydra, but we can also observe budding in yeast. So if you are interested in cooking or baking bread products, okay, sometimes uh, usually when you create bread products, not cake not cupcakes, but more of bread, yung mga tinapay. You usually add yeast into the flour. Okay? Um, yung yeast yung maliliit na bilog na kulay brown. And those yeast, those are living organisms. Okay? Hindi yung non-living. Those are living organisms. And they reproduce through um, the asexual reproduction, specifically body. So ito rin siya. This is a parent yeast. It will form a small bud, and then this bud will grow and develop until it detaches from the parent yeast. So now there are two yeast organisms. Okay? Kuya Kadesh, paalis po ako nung, ano, nung iyong mga filters. Okay? And then, of course, this is a real hydra, as we can see from a microscope. So, um, this is the parent hydra, and then it will form a bud. The bud will grow and develop, it will detach, and then it will start living on its own. Okay? So, are we okay with budding? Thumbs up, sign or lips? If we understood or if we understand the idea of budding, thank you, Dan Stan. How about si Kuya Leonard? Na may ibang ginagawa. Are we okay? With the idea of budding and binary session. Okay, thank you very much. So now let's go to another kind of reproductive, uh, asexual reproduction. And this is what we call as 
vegetative propagation. Okay, so when it comes to um, propagation, um, very common ito when it comes to plants. And some of you, I hope, tried doing propagation. Who among here propagated their plants? Hindi sila nagtanim from seed, but they propagated. In meaning, they already have a big grown mature plant and then they just cut some parts and then tinanim na nila. Sapling siya? Parang sapling? Maliliit? Yes. Yes. Ako po, sir. Okay, so si Kades used vegetative propagation. How about others? Reynald, did you plant yours from seeds or not? Ah, uh, yes, seeds. From seeds. How about Kuya Gian, from seeds or not? So what did you do um with your plant? Uh I just used the pot. There's no dirt in my house. You just used the, you just used a pot and then uh, input. Just the seed. Ah, you put the seed. Okay, so from seeds ka din. Si Jared is also from seeds. How about si Kuya, uh, si Ate Nicole? Nicole, your plant that you are doing for your plant diary, is it from a seed or not? From a seed then. How about si Leonard? Wait lang po. Okay. How about si Leonard? From seeds or from a grown plant? Yung plant mo? Leonard, nag-turn off na naman ng camera. Tinatanong lang about doon sa plant. Eh. No, hindi siya. Ano pala? Saan pala galing? Blizzard siya sa seed. Ano-ano kuya? Isa pa? Hindi siya sa seed. Hindi nga siya sa seed. So anong ginawa mo? Anong ginawa mo kung hindi siya sa seed? Sa? Anong ginawa Ana, mo sa plant mo? Pumutol lang ako. Wala ka. Pumutol ka lang. Okay. So yan ay vegetative propagation. Stem cutting, kung pumutol lang siya. Dansan in Yuri is also from seed. How about si... Ah, okay, so most of you did sexual reproduction, except for Kadesh and Leonard. Leonard and Kadesh did what we call as your asexual reproduction, specifically vegetative propagation. So you can actually do this. Sabi nga sa inyo, you can get an onion bulb. Alam niyo yung onion bulb? Di ba meron yung mga um, parang root on, on, on the bottom of the bulb? You can plant it on soil and just wait for the onion to start growing. The same when it comes to your pet chai, yung pinagputulan ng pet chai, yung sa ilalim, kung nasaan yung ugat. Once your parent has cut it off, kasi hindi naman kinakain yung, yung dulo ng pet chai, you can actually plant it, uh, plant it in a soil and then just wait for it to, to grow. So there are many ways for you to actually grow plants. Hindi, although I think most of you are more comfortable starting from seeds, but there are actually different ways of growing your plants. So let's continue with your vegetative propagation. So this one is a result. Uh, it, it results in a new plant that is still identical 100% physically and genetically to your parent plant. So most of these are observed in many vegetables and plant uh, crops. Okay, so for in the picture here, what we see is a strawberry. So if you have been to Baguio, and I'm sure most of you have, and we, you have visited yung tinatawag nating strawberry, strawberry fields or yung strawberry farm. Okay? 
hindi nila isa-isang itinanim yung strawberry because what what happens in strawberry is that they have what we call as runner okay so nag elongate itong parang vine na to and then once they elongate they start growing into a different plant okay so hindi magkaibang tinanim yan it's actually the parent strawberry one lang or one lang runner Again, Sir, Kuya Kades, what's the question? Is it po siya malaki? Yung yes po. Yung strawberry stir? Yes po. Okay. Yes, Leonard, you can go to the bathroom. So the parent strawberry is the one in the middle. And the parent strawberry is the one that produces these runners. So they call it runners because they are like vines and they are um, growing away from the parent plant. Okay. So once they grow away from the parent plant, they will start to root themselves in a different area like this one. And they will start growing into another mature parent plant. The same here. Uh, this runner here, hindi pa siya masyadong nagugat, but it will start creating or forming roots. And the roots will go under the soil and then it will become another mature plant. Okay, Kuya Yuri, you have a question before we continue to the next slide? Okay, wala na kasi you raised your hand earlier. Okay, so again, this is your strawberry, for example. It will, this is the root, but it has what we call as your runner. Okay, it's like a side stem, it's like a vine. Okay, and then it will form a bud in this runner, and this bud will form its own root. And then the roots will dig under the soil and will start um, growing on its own. So it is still connected from the parent, but it is already a different um, organism. And then this organism here, the, the offspring, will form its own runner. So may sarili na siyang runner here. And then the runner again will form a bud. It will form its own root. And then it will start growing. Okay? And ito, yung ginawa ni Kuya Leonard, this is what we call as cutting or um, what you just do is you cut one part of the plant and then generally what happens is that yung stem cutting will uh, be planted on another pot. So for example, your roses or yung santan, um, you can actually plant them this way through plant cutting. So you just um, cut one one small branch from the shrub. Yes, ganyan ang ginawa ng kapitbahay ninyo. It's because um, it is an effective way of reproducing the plant. Lalo na pag if it's already very mature, it's already grown and developed, marami na siyang branches, malago na yung shrub, you can just cut some parts of it and then yung pinagputulan, you just plant it on the soil and it will grow on its own. Um, at first, mukha lang siyang parang mamamatay kasi medyo malalanta yung halaman. Parang magdudurot. Well, may sa may tabi ng bakuran namin, ma'am. Okay. Ganyan rin po yung ginawa ni mama. Okay. So, yan yung ginagawa. Common talagang ginagawa yan. So, medyo magdudurot lang, magdudurot down lang yung uh, leaves niya for a while. But once it has um, grown its own roots once the roots have developed and they can um, get their own water and nutrients from the soil, then the cuttings or the stem cuttings will start growing on its own. Okay? So sometimes what they do also is um, they plant it into uh, a bigger plant. So this is what we call as grafting. So for example, um, this is, there are two plants. The first plant has a very small root system. So because it has a small root system, it means that, oh wait lang. Before I continue with grafting, um, our meeting room will end. So um, can, when it ends, paki join na lang ulit on the same meeting room. Okay? Maliwanag ba yung instruction, guys? So when the meeting room ends, um, just return using the same link. Kuya Yuri, while uh, habang nag-i-end yung ating meeting room, you can go to the 
comfort room. Okay? Okay, sige. Join na lang po ulit. Thank you very much.